Hello everyone. Welcome to Zoho Data Prep. In this video, I am going to walk you through the process of data blending using the join transform. Before getting started with the transform, let us look into the types of joins available in Zoho Data Prep. There are four types of joins. Inner join, left join, right join, and outer join. An inner join combines two data sets using the common columns and discards all the unmatched rows. A left join combines the current data set with another and discards all the unmatched rows from the other data set, whereas a right join discards all the unmatched rows from the current data set. An outer join combines two data sets using common columns and includes all the rows from both data sets. Here I have two data sets. One has the employee details of a company and the other one has the employee's performance details. I need to get the performance report of some employees along with their details. To achieve this, I am going to use the join transform. I have the employee ID column in both data sets. So I am going to use this as the common column and perform an inner join to get the performance details of the employees. Let me first open the employee details dataset. Now I am going to click the transform menu from the top bar, click combine and then select the join option. The join dataset dialog box shows up. Now I am going to choose the performance evaluation dataset from this drop down. I can view the join potential of the two datasets as a percentage. Join potential is calculated based on the matching data and column names between the datasets. Since I want the details of only those employees who have their performance evaluation, I'll use the inner join. I also want to create a new dataset with the combined data. So I will leave the toggle enabled. Let me now click the join button. Next I will name the new dataset. Then I am going to make sure that the employee ID column is selected under the matched column section for both the datasets. Now let me click the preview button to see the preview of the join dataset. I can see that the data is joined properly. Now I am going to unselect the columns that are not required for the performance report. These columns will not be included in the resultant dataset. I can now go ahead and click the join button. The resultant dataset has been successfully created. Let me open the new dataset. Finally, we have been able to blend two datasets using the join transform. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below or feel free to write to us at support@zohodataprep.com. Thanks for watching.